Today we're going to make a classic, the Negroni. For this drink, you're going to need a rocks glass, a graduated double jigger, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a Hawthorne strainer, and a mixing glass. This drink uses gin, Campari, sweet vermouth, and an orange peel for garnish. James Bond only ordered this drink once in the short story Risico. It seems like a drink he would have had more often. It's essentially a stiffer, more untamed Americano. In fact, that's how the story goes that it was invented. Supposedly an Italian aristocrat named Negroni ordered an Americano with gin in place of the soda. So they named the drink after him. I'm not sure how much of that's true. A couple of different families with the last name Negroni contest that they are the descendants of the drink's inventor. Also, there are a couple very similar drinks that may have predated the Negroni. But regardless, it's a great cocktail. It's easy to make, and one that most bars pride themselves in making well. Negronis are served several different ways, so make it the way you like it. I like stirring it and pouring it over a large hunk of ice. It gives the drink a little dilution, and keeps it cold without watering it down too quickly. The gin in this one magically balances out the sweetness and bitterness in a way that soda water never could. In the short story, Bond calls for his Negroni to be made with Gordon's gin. Feel free to use Gordon's. However, sometime around the 70s, Gordon's lowered the proof of their gin. I like using Beefeater or Tanqueray, because they're still producing at a higher proof, which is what Bond would have been drinking back in the early 60s when the story was written. And because Bond calls for Beefeater and other drinks, it's my go-to gin for Bond cocktails. We'll start by chilling our glass, fill it with ice, and set it aside. Next, we're going to measure an ounce of gin, add that to the mixing glass, measure an ounce of Campari, add that to the mixing glass, measure an ounce of sweet vermouth, add that to the mixing glass, add ice, and stir. You really want to chill this one out and give it some dilution. Try not to go overboard, but if you stir it a little longer, it'll help mellow out some of the bitterness. When the sides of the glass start to condense, you're good to go. Strain the contents of your mixing glass into your rocks glass. Cut a long swath of orange peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. Wrap the peel around your bar spoon, express the oils of your orange twist over the drink, and drop it in for garnish. And there it is, the Negroni, the way Bond likes it. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.